pick up quickly on Elizabeth Kitty Kitty because we had a bit of political news late on a Friday night last night that she mm. has left the Green Party. Um, so we have another MP now with Elizabeth Kitty Kitty, though, sitting as an independent mm. within Parliament until the election, Mike. Well, I think that's probably um, based on the precedent of Mecca Fightery, mm. who managed to walk a jump but not incur the waka jumping legislation. And I think Elizabeth Kerry Kerry's probably had a look at that. I think she's probably worked out, I mean, the, the Green Party is, is forming its list mm. as we speak. Mm -hmm. I think the negative publicity around uh, Elizabeth Kerry Kerry, justified or not, probably means that she would not come uh, on that list in a, a, a winnable position. So she's really just cut and run. Mm. and. Who would blame her under those circumstances? But I would say this. I, I think she'll be a loss to the Green Party. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I, I think what we're seeing is, um, over the course of this week, we've seen a lot of, a lot of drama in the House, basically. Mm. Um, and it's, it's, it, it really gives us a snapshot, a preview of what a left-leaning coalition might look like. You've got a Green Party, which is giving themselves paper cuts, and then you've got a Te Party Māori who are kneecapping and giving the Labour Party a bloody nose. What, what's going to be like if they do get to go into coalition? Never mind the fact that uh, we have two parties here who signed and delivered the um, Electoral Integrity Act legislation... Um, which is the walker-jumping walker laws, well, they and they have both of... managed to dance on the head of the pin. But they, the didn't, yeah. they didn't really hours. want it, did they? That was, was a coalition, New Zealand first. Absolutely, and it was a coalition agreement, well, and it's all about the integrity of what happens in the ballot box and delivering but there was, for the electorate. But there was a New Zealand first policy, so they took it on in the coalition agreement, and now they just they want, you obviously don't want to use it. Mm. Well, absolutely, and you know, but Labor in 2001 pushed through the original Electoral Integrity Act, uh, of which John Tamahere was a member, and he also passed off that law. So let's just like, well, yeah. we're, 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 yes, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you so much. There is so much for us to talk about this week. Thank you so much for joining us on the panel, Orini, Mike, and Jenny. Thank you. Thank you. If I Akine, we cross live to Europe correspondent Lisa Raymer in London. Plus, transport troubles had tempers flaring this week in the House. Fashion, fashion, fashion. Monday.